Now more than ever, in today's B2B environment, a commercial strategy focused on acquisition rather than retention of your existing customers is a flawed strategy. During COVID-19, unless you are in the essential growth industries like pharmaceuticals, protective gear, hospital uniforms, it's likely that sales is not top of your customer's mind. For some customer companies, they're really focused on survival. And for others, it's keep the status quo, no new sales. This is the time for you to focus on retention strategy rather than acquisition. Added to the challenging times, the probability of selling more services to your existing customers or even former customers is between 60 and 70%, while the chances of selling to a new customer is only 5 to 20%. In my keynote, growth hack your best customers. I give three <laughs> strategies to hack your best customers. Now, the first is customer experience or CX. The second is focus to grow or 80-20. The third is retain or retention strategy. Now, I focus on retaining and accelerating your growth, the growth of your customers, your revenue and your profits. Now is the time to prepare for future growth. Now, I'll let you into a secret. If you go into a sales meeting, whether online or not, thinking about or worried about your quota or revenues, let me tell you that ship has sailed. Your customers can smell it on you. Now, I had an experience with a customer I picked up the phone and heard, Paulette, Universal Trust, Global Sales Director. It was so abrupt, it took me a while to recall our previous conversation that we had. And it was a, about, a, about a couple of months ago, we were discussing working together. So she continued, once I got my head around it, we're losing out to new incumbents. We must turn this around. Now, I'll pick up the story um, later on because it's relevant to this time, although it happened a couple of months ago. Now, I work with amazing companies and I see that they're often on two, a parallel universe, two completely different paths. You have your customers here and then your, the sales company is on a completely different track. They're almost not speaking the same language. Clients tell me that I help them get on the same path as their key accounts and their customers. You've got to develop a trusted connection with your high revenue customers, your high value customers and key account, because this is where the value exchange for revenue growth is at its highest. You can increase your sales by 20% with gross customers post COVID-19, but you've really got to start preparing for that now. So let's roll up our sleeves and get into the next three videos that follow this. I look forward to seeing you there.